Hi friends, welcome back to our 3D's Max learning session. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe it. Okay, in our previous sessions, we learn about uh, basic tools in law. That is standard primitives, extended primitives and splines. Today we are going to learn about compound objects. That means particularly about Boolean operations. Combining process of two or more objects is called a Boolean operations. For that we need to create a two object. First one is draw a box and then a cone for easy understanding. we need to learn about five different types of boolean operations that is what the union subtraction intersection merge and imprint for that uh, we need to copy the whole object by pressing the shift and dragging the object towards any one direction any of the direction we will get the copies Okay, now we are going to uh, do the first boolean process that is union. Um, for that, we need to select a, a single object. It may be a box or a cone. Now I am selecting a box and going for compound objects, selecting true boolean option. After that, there is a uh, lot of options. We uh, check that union option. After that, start picking the second object which is to be combined with the existing selected object here i am selecting the cone as a second object now we will get the result like this the two different objects combined as a single object next we are going to do the second boolean operation that is what intersection that means again we are doing the same method by selecting the box we can enable the pro boolean option that means uh, just selecting and going for pro boolean now i checked that intersection option the second okay then start picking start picking the second operand that is with cone now we are getting that intersecting part only the intersecting part between the two objects that is what intersection after that we are going to do subtraction now we select the box pro boolean checking that subtraction option start picking the cone second object that means we got a hole subtracting the second object from the first object we got the result like this okay the next step next process is merge the merge is uh, almost equal to the union process as we did earlier but the difference is the union process retains the outer line only the outer line of both objects then the merge process retains the all virginal vertex and edges of an objects nothing else uh, how to impose a text or a uh, shape on another one object that is that is called a imprint now we are going to imprint a text uh, the brand name yaas solutions into a existing box i just select uh, text plus and the create option and giving yaas solutions as a text input now it came in the viewport we just align the text on to the box can change any properties of the text means uh, text style otherwise text size in that modifier list
now we got like this now we have to go for imprint option for that we have to select the box go for the compound objects pro boolean option in that there is an option called the imprint we have to select that imprint as we make a mark uh, otherwise uh, we make a trace mark on the uh, box or otherwise existing objects of a new object that means here it's a text we got the result like this here we are getting a box with the brand name uh, we can do with the uh, geometrical otherwise uh, any other shape now i am doing with the cylinder also doing the same method go for compound objects pro boolean click the imprint start picking the second objects which is to be subtracted exactly we got the face like this now the single object having a lot of faces like uh, yeah solutions on the cylinder uh, so if we are uh, converting it to editable poly we can access the face for material application select the face we can select all the embossed faces if you want to select more than one face at a time you have to use the control key for multiple selection now i am applying a different color as a material i am using here as green if you don't know about material application you just go through my previous videos material like this i am using different color for that cylinder shape also the result is like this more than that we are having um, pro boolean and boolean option in that compound objects but there is a lot of difference the better one is uh, pro boolean option because it has more options including multiple options don't forget to share comment and like thanks for watching